Can you tell us in Chinese how you say I'm happy to be in Israel? I didn't understand, but that seemed to come out of the heart. Welcome home. Yeah, thank you. Shalom here at Arutz Sheva. We, of course, always like to uh, greet new immigrants coming to Israel. Today, a special group, five girls from China who are Jewish descendants. They came here to Israel, and this is all part of the activity of the Shavei Israel organization. When did you discover that you were Jewish? Uh, when I was young, maybe seven or eight. My father and, and grandfather told me, uh, we are Jew, we need to come back to, Chi uh, uh, come back to Israel. What can you tell us about the feeling when the plane landed? Wow, well, I can't tell, you know, it's very, so exciting. I, I wasn't able to sleep yesterday. <laughs> yeah. What was the feeling when the, when the flight came, uh, landed? Uh, exciting. <laughs> feel excited, uh, feel... Uh, Magic, yeah. Magic. Yeah. Bezat Hashem. With God's help, have a good luck. Tada. What we're seeing here today is uh, Jewish history in the making. Uh, the return of five young Chinese Jews on Aliyah to Israel. Uh, there was a Jewish community in Kaifeng in China since at least the seventh or the eighth century. Um, uh, about 150, 200 years ago, a process of assimilation and intermarriage set in. But until today, there are about a thousand people in Kaifeng who are identifiable as descendants of the Jewish community via family trees. And in recent years, a growing number of the young people have been looking to return to their Jewish roots. Descendants of Jews coming from where? Is this also what we de de define as the lost tribes, or is this something else? Uh, no, they are descendants of Sephardic Jews from Iraq or Persia who traveled along the Silk Route and settled in the city of Kaifeng, which at the time was one of the imperial capitals of China. Now, in terms of what you're talking about, assimilation, these uh, Jews, the descendants of Jews, they need to go through uh, processes at this uh, what stage, right? Uh, that's correct. Wow. Um, they'll be studying here at a religious women's seminary, uh, preparing to undergo formal conversion by Israel's chief rabbinate. We need to, to learn um, many knowledge about the Holy Bible, uh, Tanakh, Toshba, and uh, we need to do our best. How was the feeling this morning? I mean, you, you're used to all these landings. Well, what, is it exciting every time? It's emotional every time because each person is a world unto themselves. And um, we've been struggling for the past three or four years um, to get the requisite permission in order to bring these young women here. Um, I spent a lot of time nudging and cajoling and lobbying uh, bureaucrats and Knesset members and ministers. But thank God, finally, uh, the permission came and uh, they've come home. And I want to mention there is a, a verse in the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 12, where God speaks about the return, the ingathering of the exiles, and at the end of the verse it says, Ve'ele me'eretz sinim. These from the land of the sinim. Sinim, of course, is Hebrew for Chinese. So I'd like to believe that what we're seeing today is the fulfillment of that prophetic vision. In Hebrew, the word for Jew is Yehudi. It has many meanings, many roots, but one of the roots is lehodot, to say thank you, to show gratitude. That is a critical component of being a Jew, is to show gratitude to God and to your fellow man. So at this special moment, when you have finally arrived here, back in the land of your ancestors, the first thing that we need to do is to say thank you to the creator of the world. By coming here, you are about to fulfill the mitzvah. You are about to fulfill the commandment of settling the land of Israel, which is one of the most precious mitzvot that we have. And because it is your, your first time coming here to live here, let's say the bracha of Shehechianu together. 
Shehechiano is the bracha that we say on a special occasion when we are particularly happy about something. And there's no more appropriate moment to say it than when a Jew comes home to Israel. So let's say it together with me. Baruch. We also have to thank the State of Israel. The fact that we have Jewish sovereignty again in the land of Israel is itself a miracle, and it is that sovereignty here that allows so many Jews, such as yourselves, to come back from the four corners of the earth. I know that you know Hatikva in Chinese because I've heard you sing it. I can't sing it with you, but if you wouldn't <coughs> mind singing it now, it would mean a lot to us. <laughs> Shan